Hello my friends, welcome back to I Love Lunches. Oh my goodness, I have missed you guys so much. I have some awesome lunches for you guys, inspired by Pinterest. So if you're new, welcome my friend. Please hang out and consider subscribing and be a part of the I Love Lunches family. If you're returning, welcome back my friend. Now let's get luncheon. <laughs> So on Pinterest, I'm gonna use some pita bread or whatever you want to use. I bought this from Walmart. It was a dollar ninety-eight, and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to get this. So I'm gonna use my—is it in my number or pita bread? Whatever you want to use, and we're gonna use our heart cookie cutter just to kind of cut it out into a heart. On Pinterest, they did not do it this way, but I wanted to just. Add my own little twist to it so I thought it would be kind of cool just to cut it into a heart so this is what it looks like and I'm definitely gonna use the rest of those for something different believe me nothing is gonna be waste <laughs> so I'm just gonna save that and now we're just gonna get some pepperoni and I have my heart my flower cookie cutter and I'm just gonna cut some flowers the one that I seen they cut it into hearts I could not find my really small heart cookie cutter so I said that's okay I'm just gonna cut it into some flowers instead for Valentine's Day I'm gonna use some this isn't pizza sauce this is just pasta sauce I'm just gonna use some of that and I think that I'm gonna try to crisp them up a little bit because I noticed they're not like as crisps so I'm just gonna put it in the broiler just for a little bit just so they can be a little bit you know better when the kids pick them up we're just gonna add some mozzarella cheese to it and if you can hear something it's definitely Noah and Halo in the background and Halo likes pepperoni and this is turkey pepperoni Noah's not the biggest fan of it so I'm not going to give Noah any pepperoni. I'm just going to give him a few and I'm going to make him a cheese pizza as well. These are so easy to make. And I'm just going to put them in the broiler for a few minutes, maybe like two minutes. And I'm going to use my army boxes. I'm not going to use the hot department because I don't really need it right now. And these are my cupcake liners. You can just get these turn them going in opposite direction and there you go I'm gonna go with um, Mickey Mouse for Noah and these juices these minimum juices are fruit and vegetables which I love the kids don't know they have vegetables in it and I want to keep it that way <laughs> and we're gonna use our, our Giovanni little yogurt and i saw this at the grocery outlet and i thought well hey i should give it a try they're pirate booties but they're have veggies in it halo told me that they taste like broccoli and i was like oh really oh well i, I don't know why they taste like broccoli <laughs> so yeah so it's really cool it was like a dollar 49 so i think that was really awesome and we're gonna use some applesauce and i really like these they have fruit inside too, so it's like a mixed medley kind of thing and it's so cool that you can just write something on the little clouds I'm just gonna write Noah on one and I heart you halo on the other and there you go and oh my gosh these are so magically delicious they're 40% less fat I'm gonna give halo one no I can't take it and I'm gonna give them some cereal for breakfast when they get to school. So this is what the pizza looks like. They are so good and so simple to make. I bought these from Walmart as well. I'm gonna give Halo some cereal as well for breakfast for school. I'm gonna put a unicorn for Halo and some Mickey Mouse food picks for Noah. Very simple and easy. I'm gonna use my wooden spoons. Oh my gosh, I really hope that I get these back because these are like my favorite spoons. I love everything wood. <laughs> so we'll see if we get them back. 
All right, let's see how the kids did. Okay, my friends, let's see what the kiddos say. There's a lot of noise in the background. So, uh, Taylor says she really liked her lunch. So, <laughs> honestly, I don't think she ate any of her pirate veggie booties at all. <laughs> Yeah, that did not get eaten. She definitely ate her yogurt because she loves that. She told me she really liked her pizza, but from the looks of it, she only liked one bite of her pizza. So, yeah, that did not get eaten. Now, Noah, let's see what Noah did. This is from, um, I have to take his pillows. I have to take his um, blanket and sheet every Monday to school. So I just put it in here for this week. This is what I use for my people go stay at places. I got this from Daiso. And it's like a packing kind of cube kind of thing. And it's only a dollar fifty. It's really big. I, I can fit his pillow in here, his blanket in here. It's huge. And I have this for a year now. I normally put all of our traveling stuff in a suitcase. And when we're ready to travel and stuff like that, I take it out. And we've been going to my parents' house a lot and traveling a lot. So this is what I've been using. So I just used it for no. So I'm happy I got this back. But Daiso, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, now let's see how my little guy did. Oh, I got his spoon back. I did not get a Halo spoon back. So I'm not too happy about that. But what can I say? <laughs> not too happy. So Noah did not have his juice. Um, yeah, they don't like me to send juice, but it has Mommy. this in it. I don't want to say the name because then they will see my secret. Open so it. I thought Open that it would be good. Noah ate both of his pizza. He ate some of his pizza. Good job, Halo. You ate all the top. Why you didn't eat more of it? Because it's full. You're full. Oh, that's okay, baby. You're gonna do better tomorrow. Okay. So that's how. Hey. Alrighty, my friends. Let's get lunch in. We're gonna just take the crust off the bread. I was watching Pinterest. I found something that I thought was interesting. So of course, I'm gonna add my own little twist to it. So I'm just gonna take some bread. I'm gonna take the crust off because the kiddos do not like the crust on pinterest they use something totally different they use cream cheese but the kiddos do not like cream cheese i'm gonna try it to see if they would like cream cheese but i know no one loves peanut butter so of course i'm gonna go with peanut butter for noah and this is gonna be noah's lunch so all you're gonna do is just take your bread and whatever spray you like, there's tons of them out there. There's nut butter, there's almond butter, there's, you know, there's all kind of different butters if you have a, if you have to make nut free goodies for your kids. So you're just gonna take the edge of the bread and you're gonna add some of your spray, whatever spray you like, and you're gonna go with your sprinkles. Oh my gosh, the sprinkles were jumping around like crazy. <laughs> and this is all you're gonna do. You're just gonna add your sprinkles right to the end of your sandwich. And there you go. Isn't that so cute? Perfect for Valentine's. And I'm gonna use my um, Yum Boxes for Noah's lunch for today. A very simple, simple lunch. We're gonna go with Noah's favorite. He wanted hot doggies, so we're gonna make some hot doggies, and he suggested carrots as well. So I'm hoping that he eats all of these carrots. <laughs> Let's see if that's gonna happen. So he was telling me everything that he wanted. He said that he wanted some pudding, so he grabbed a pudding, which was perfect. If he wants pudding, that means he's gonna eat it. And he said he wanted hot doggies right there. <laughs> so all I do is just put them in the broiler for just a few minutes. And I like him to look crisp. And he wanted chocolate milk. And I got these fruit picks from Daiso. They were $1.50 in their cars. They are so cute. But with these fruit picks, you can only use them once. But they're still really cute. And I was really excited about it. He was excited about his chocolate milk, his pudding, and his food pigs. <laughs> this is Noah's lunch. He ate just about everything. 
And I have to be completely honest with you, I had to make some lunch at home to show you guys a few ideas because there's only, they've only been to school two days this week so far. So I had to be creative and I made lunch for dinner. So this is their lunch for today. <laughs> because, you know, I really wanted to put a video out and show you guys some ideas for the rest of the week. So this is their lunch and I hope that it inspire you, my Pinterest ideas. So this is what now I have. He did not really like this as much, but he grew to like it. <laughs> What do you have it again? Okay, my friends, so let's make Halo's lunch. I'm going to try to use some cream cheese and see if she likes it. You're just gonna take your bread, do the same exact thing, and just use a cup and flatten your bread out. I have, you know, a, something to flat it with, but hey, there's things everywhere that you can use to flat your bread. A cup is perfect. So all you're gonna do is just add some cream cheese and I'm gonna make fairy bread. And I, to be honest with you, I really didn't like this bread. It wasn't perfect. Like I think I will have to use something a little bit softer and I'm gonna go once again with my sprinkles. For Valentine's Day, I'm gonna go with, you know, my red and white sprinkles. But for fairy bread, you use, you know, magical sprinkles. You use sprinkles that have different colors. But I thought that this would be a little bit, you know, better for Valentine's Day. All you're gonna do is just roll it up and I'm gonna cut it just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is perfect for the kiddos, but you know, I don't know if Halo's gonna eat it, so we will have to see. <laughs> and I got these from the grocery outlet. I found them to be very interesting. They're just, they're fruit, like leather kind of thing. And oh my gosh, they're so yummy. They bring a little car and they tell a little story, which I thought was really, really cute. And I thought this would be really nice to go with the fairy bread. And we're gonna go with Halo's favorite yogurt, and this is honey yogurt. So she should really like it, cause that's like her favorite. But we'll see how that goes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's Winnie the Pooh honey. Holy moly, that is like the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. And I got it from the grocery outlet, my friends. And we're gonna go with some mangoes. And this is the way I like to cut my mangoes just to make it easier for the kiddos. And then you're just gonna turn it around and just cut your mangoes and there you go. Super easy, super fast, perfect. And right on the inside, I'm gonna go with something easy, some carrots just to give them a fruit and vegetable. When I'm making the kids' lunches, I always like to add a fruit and a vegetable, some kind of fruit, some kind of vegetable, some yogurt, something like that you know, uh, something sweet, something sour, or not sour, was salty. So we're gonna go with some chips and some Gatorade. And Halo did not like the cream cheese. So I'm remaking it. I'm just gonna do a little something different and be creative. She said she wanted Nutella. So to make it a little interesting, I said, okay, on one side, I'll add some sprinkles. So this is just me being creative, making something up for my Halo. So there Halo. You go. Halo had half of her Nutella sandwich. She did not like the one with the um, with the cream cheese at all. She had wonderful fruit letters. These are really, really good. I actually taste a little piece of Halos and it was really good. So I may be eating this. This is considered mom food. She had just the top of a yogurt with the honey, apparently. She has some of her mangoes. She did not finish her chips. They're still here. I'm definitely not complaining about this because that's a good thing. So this is their lunch for this week. The elephant in the room is definitely back. I will let you point that out in the comments down below. If you watch my videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know if you have any questions for me. I'm doing a q and A. I'm really excited to answer your questions for you to get to know me better. So I will see you guys next time.